Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Horizon Zero Dawn and as of right now we only are on the day one patch so if the game is improved I'll make these videos again but at the moment everything I'm talking about will be about the day one performance if there are any patches that fix this, again, I'll make more content on this game I recommend a video on this game made by Digital Foundry. They go through every single one of the options and the issues they run into while testing this game on PC. Link in the description. So now I'm going to be talking about uh, very quickly about the options menu, the things that you should care about. So to improve performance right away, make sure to lower model quality, shadows, reflections, clouds and ambient occlusion. You can crank up the model quality slightly higher than shadows, but that's about it. Then anastropic filtering, I recommend keeping it on ultra, but as you will see in the digital foundry video I recommended, this option doesn't work, so you got to force the anastropic filtering on the Nvidia or AMD drivers. But the developers said that they are going to fix it, so make sure to keep the anastropic filtering on ultra. The medium setting in this game is the same as the PS4 version, so if you want to have the PS4 visuals, make sure to put the preset on original and everything will be on medium settings, which again is the PS4 version. And on the anti-aliasing option, I recommend always selecting TAA, it's the one that looks the best and the performance is basically the same. The only thing I recommend going beyond high is the model quality. The rest on Ultra doesn't give you a huge difference in visuals, but the performance is affected significantly. So if you want to see if the game runs on Ultra, just do it. But when you're playing the game, I recommend just keeping a mix between medium and high with the things I said, and the model quality cranked up to the max if your GPU can handle it. On the CPU side of things, as long as you have 4 cores, the game should be able to be over 30 frames per second. But one of the other issues that the game has is that it has some stutters every now and then that are very significant. They happen when a quest is updated, which happens very often, when in a cinematic the camera pans to somewhere else, or sometimes when you interact with objects, so it can be very noticeable. I'm testing this game on a Ryzen 5 3600 and this happens no matter what. So if you have something like an i3 9100F, it should be more than enough to get over 30 frames per second with some stutters once again, but if you're aiming for 60 on only 4 cores, I'll expect some drops below 60 when fighting many enemies at once. Other than that, it should be okay as long as your GPU can handle the game. Then on the system RAM set of things, the game uses more than 8GB of system RAM, so my recommendation is to have more than 8 and on dual channel. Then on the video memory side of things, this is very weird. No matter which GPU I used and which texture quality option I used, even on my 8GB GPU, the RX580, the game almost maxes out the VRAM usage no matter what. So my advice is that if you have less than 6GB of video memory, use medium textures. If you have 6, use high. And if you have 8GB of VRAM or more, use Ultra. Then if you have less than 4GB of video memory, use the low textures. And overall it was fine, the game didn't run into many problems with that. But I ran into a very significant issue on some AMD GPUs. If you have 8GB of memory on your AMD GPU, for example the RX 570, RX 580, they have 8GB versions. You'll be fine, you can put textures on ultra, you can crank up the shadows, whatever you want. But if you have the 4GB version, which I have on the RX 570, if I keep the game over the medium setting, no matter what, the textures will be broken, it will just be a muddy mess. So I was forced to use the console settings in order for the textures to look okay. Again, this only happened to me on AMD GPUs with 4GB of video memory. If you have more than 4GB of video memory, it will be okay, so the textures look like they should. Hopefully they fix this in a patch, but at the moment this is what we have. I didn't run into this issue on Nvidia GPUs, so on 4GB and 2GB Nvidia GPUs I didn't have that problem with the muddy textures. But on the Nvidia side there was also a very noticeable issue, that sometimes 3D models disappear for a second or two and come back very quickly. It's like a small flicker. It happens every now and then. Again, th something that they should patch in the future. And on the performance side of things, I'm very disappointed. To get 60 frames per second on 1080p on PS4 settings, I needed to use at least a GTX 1660. So not even an RX 580 or GTX 1060 or 1650 Super was enough to do 1080p 60 frames. 
on console settings, which is kind of weird because the PS4 on GPU horsepower is significantly slower compared to those GPUs. Then if you want the normal PS4 experience, not the pro version, you need at least a GTX 1050 Ti on console settings and you'll be basically at 30 frames per second on 1080p. But again, hopefully this game gets patched and we get input performance, better options in the menu and no stutter when random things are happening. But anyway guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Exactly. I always, but I, th I know. Graves, I want that gate repaired immediately. I need to test this device. I don't care if you have to see what it can do. Brom, it's your sister, Olara. Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the Striders! It's driven them mad! But I think you're... I know you do. You speak for no one. Graves! I, want that I need to find a machine. Test this override device. Brom! It's your sister, Olara!
Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the striders! It's driven them mad! Exactly, I own, but I, th I know. Braves. I want that gate repaired immediately. I need to test this device. See what it can do. Rom! It's your sister, Alara! Should go in quiet, then go through all of this to wind up trampled. Nice and quiet. Okay, here it goes! Won't be long. Gotta get in position. Here it comes! Attack! Watch the Striders! It's driven them mad! You do it. Aloy! How did Tab? I can't you can't. Uh, Exactly I own, but I think I know. Braves! I want that game. I need to find a machine. Test this override device. Never know when I might need these. Huh? Striders. I can test the override device on them. Nice and quiet. Okay, here it goes! 
Come on, come on. It worked! Yeah! 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 Ride! <laughs> this strider is fast! <laughs> this beats walking. 